Supreme Court's now poised to have a majority of women justices for the first time in state history. This comes after Chief Justice Peter Masson is approaching the state's mandatory judge retirement age of 70. Political reporter Steve Kirch tells us what he learned about the applicant. Steve? Mike, the seven attorneys who apply to the Judicial Council for the Supreme Court position are all women, meaning if the process moves forward as expected, three of the five state justices will be women. Uh, actually, it makes me feel very good. It seems like we're getting to where we need to go in terms of uh, representing the population that we um, that we work for. Soon to be retired Chief Justice Peter Mawson talking about the all-female list of applicants competing to be the next justice, creating the potential for an all-woman majority on the court. Historically, out of Alaska's 27 current and former Supreme Court justices, only four have been women. Yeah, it's just a generational ch shift. You know, when I started practicing law, a woman lawyer, a woman judge was still somewhat of a rarity. But as years have gone by, it's become less and less so. You know, um, school, law school classes have become um, majority women. The selection process starts with a seven-person Alaska Judicial Council. It's made up of the Chief Justice, three people who are not attorneys, and three practicing attorneys. Uh, it is pretty grueling, and I can understand why uh, lawyers who apply and don't make it the first time might hesitate to try again. In November, the council will interview each candidate. Then the governor will have 45 days to appoint someone as the new justice from the list of nominees. Exclude the possibility that anybody can exert a whole lot of political pressure. You know, the governor can't just appoint somebody he wants. The legislature doesn't have a confirmation power. Um, this independent body tells the governor, this is the list among whom you have to pick and you're stuck with it. Now, the incoming justice will be the fourth appointed by Governor Mike Dunleavy. When asked, the governor's spokesperson for comment on this potential history-making appointment, I was told the governor is waiting to comment until he makes his selection. Steve Kirch, Alaska's News Source.